How's it going today, everybody? It is Kevin here once again giving you another gameplay commentary. We have another weapon review. We got a new Forge weapon. That's why I'm dancing so much. I'm just so happy and excited. I got this new weapon and it's called... Actually, we'll stop just so I can stop clapping so you guys won't hear that annoyance anymore. But it is a sword weapon, which is pretty freaking cool. It's called a Future Safe 10. It's a uh, verse, Prophecy Verse 10 you get to check out. Uh, it's a pretty solid sword. I've been actually enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, and if you want to click it on here, we can check out the different perks and why I like to run with them. Uh, so we have Jagged Edge and Hungry Edge. Uh, I prefer to run with uh, Hungry Edge just because extra sword ammo is awesome. Uh, I found swords best to either... Um, they're really good for you clearing out mobs or just click, uh, going for the bat main villain. Uh, or not villain, but main boss character you want to try to take out as well so you get a little bit extra damage in there uh, but I like to do with the hungry edge because you get more ammo more chances to do more awesomeness and for the guard perk I like to use a balance guard instead of burst guard just because it's a better efficiency but I never really ever use the guard ability um, either in PvP or in PvE uh, just because I'm too busy slaying things man and playing as a devourer warlock you just as after you get to kill your health all the way back up, so there's really not much use to using it, at least from my experience as a Warlock main. And the trait on this weapon is On Guard. Quick attacks immediately after swapping to the sword do additional damage. And it's actually a considerable amount of damage. Uh, you can see on the clipper here, I'm using this while playing in a uh, Lost Sector. I go against this Minotaur right here, and the first swing I do does 20, 2,314 damage, and the secondary uh, swings or for tertiary and quadrature, fourth swing, or whatever, uh, do 1,320 damage. Now, I worked out the math, that is a 57% increase on damage when it comes to these quick attacks. So, you can swap to your sword real quick, and you can just slay like, anything that comes in your way. Now, I find it, yeah, like I said, it's pretty good. That's a good trait against uh, main uh, boss characters. Uh, everything else will be pretty much killed within one swipe, so you get that little, uh, quite a bit of a damage boost right there. So, uh, if you want to use this sword for more, if you want to use a sword more for a boss killing, I'd probably go with this one right here. Though a lot of times with bosses, they just do the big stomp to make you fly back super far away, so it's not that useful. So maybe Jagged Edge might be the better option for you right there, but that's just kind of like how I like to play the game, you know. And uh, that's about it with this weapon. Obviously, PvP version of this from the Crucible. It's a sword. You swing, it's gonna get killed. Uh, it doesn't have a big of a slash to it, I, I noticed. So then, most of the time, if you do like the right trigger kind of slash or the heavy slash, you're only gonna get one kill. And you're not gonna be able to get, really get multiple kills within a single slash. with a little bit of a letdown on this weapon. So it's really designed to do the quick, uh, quick attack motions on this weapon here. Uh, so that's my review of the Future Safe 10 uh, sword right here for uh, the Curse of Osiris DLC. I think it's rather fun. Uh, definitely good for taking out uh, high health enemies, especially when you swap right to it. Get the, that 57% that damage boost, which is really great. Uh, anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you want to see some more videos like this, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below what you thought of the video and what video, what kind of weapon or thing you would like to see me review next in Destiny or in Halo 5 as well. Stay subscribed for more awesomeness, and we'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.